All right, thank you, Chris. New at 6, Bay City Public Schools parting ways with multiple coaches. TV5's Lita Brooks breaks down the reason behind the decision. It's not fair to the kids, you know, that all this is going on. For the Mario Walker, summers are usually spent running his summer camp, but this year will be different. The former Bay City Western boys basketball coach is one of many coaches removed from their positions in athletics Thursday by Bay City Public Schools. On June 15th, while I was in the middle of uh, running a summer league, uh, I was handed my termination letter. Cut was made to bring the school district into compliance with federal labor laws regarding overtime provisions. Walker, who has been coaching in the district for 14 years, says the laws are not new and he doesn't understand why cuts are being made now. We're, we're just unsure of why the, why the move to terminate us in the summer when we're not working full time. Um, and I, I don't know anything, you know, about the law, um, but I'm, I'm not sure if they would still be, you know, non-compliant with the law if we were still coaching. But our thing was we're not working full time in our, in our normal job, so why terminate us now? Bay City Central Wrestling Coach Augie Facundo and Volleyball and Assistant Track and Field Coach Stephanie Reed were among the head coaches let go. Though the termination was a sting, they say they hope it all works out for the kids. To me, it was a, a shot, you know, a shock to all of us. You know, we didn't know what was going on. It was, uh, uh, here he called us on this day, said, hey, we need you to come in and sign your termination papers. And we didn't know what was going on. It definitely was a bummer. Um, you know, we come in the first week and you get introduced to your whole freshman group of girls that you're going to have and now they know that you're going to be their coach and you're setting these expectations for them and getting to know them. Um, and then a week later, you get your termination papers and then it's kind of like, well, how do I tell them? Walker says while he understands it's a business matter, it feels personal. I know the district has to follow what they need to do. And, and I respect that and I understand that. However, it felt personal. Ultimately, all three coaches say they hope a resolution can be reached. I would love it. I mean, I don't want to go to another school district uh, for a job. I don't want to go to another school as a coach. Um, I, I love my kids that I have. In Bay City, Lanita Brooks, WNEM TV5. We did reach out to Bay City Public Schools for comment, but we have yet to hear back. Stay with TV5 on air, online, and our free TV5 mobile app for any new developments.